Good Saturday morning. This is a look at your tropical update as we'll start a little bit closer to home in the Gulf of Mexico. Things are very quiet here as high pressure is in control of the Gulf of Mexico, so mostly clear skies all around. But we scoot over a little bit here to the east of Florida. A 40% chance of tropical development over the next two to five days. There's a little bit of a swirl there, you can see, but really not looking too organized right now. But as it drifts off to the northeast, that's when it could develop into a subtropical or a tropical storm. It's going to be moving away from the Gulf of Mexico, though, as we head into next week. We'll go a little bit farther out now into the Atlantic. This is Tropical Depression 9. It's still barely hanging on. It's forecast to just be a remnant low. As we head into early next week, this will not be a problem for the Gulf of Mexico or the U.S. as it will continue to drift off to the northwest. Now, a little bit farther south of Tropical Depression 9 is Tropical Storm Ida. It was named yesterday, and it's looking fairly impressive on satellite imagery for this morning. But take a look at Ida's track. It's going to kind of drift off to the northwest as we head through Tuesday. It's forecast to become a 70-mile-per-hour tropical storm by then, but then upper-level winds are not going to be continued as we go into the middle of next week. This is not going to be a fast moving storm. Let me show you what's going to happen on this in the forecast model. This is Ida down here on the bottom portion of your screen. We'll put this through. This is Monday. This is Tuesday. And then even Wednesday and Thursday, you can see it kind of hanging out there. And then eventually it's going to shift off to the north, but not until late next week. And then at that point, it's forecast to weaken. So again, Ida will not be a problem for the Gulf of Mexico or the United States. We got a lot of time to track things out there. It's very active right now in the tropics, but really nothing too concerning to worry about out there. We'll continue to track all these systems over the next week or so. And that's a look at your tropical update.